Yo, what is up guys? How's it going, man? I am pretty excited for this gameplay. Uh, we're gonna be doing some Ghostface games. He just came out yesterday. I played him a little bit on stream last night and he's pretty fun. Um, unfortunately, while I was playing him on, I played Killer all day yesterday on stream and I got the rank four, which sucks. I don't wanna be red ranks because the queues are gonna be awful. The queues are gonna be so bad. Um, but yeah, um, I, I'm really excited to, to do some gameplay with him. The perks I'm running right now, the build I'm running is just kind of like, whatever i had available for me <laughs> like my perk selection is not the greatest you know what i mean but uh th th this is what i decided to run there might be some better options here i'm not really sure um barbecue i'm just running for the extra blood points i don't even care about the ores at all hex ruin slows down the game a little bit discordance is something that i'm testing out on him um you might like for instance i have brutal strength and nurse's calling that might be better but i'm not really sure and i really want to test out discordant so a lot of this is going to be me testing i'm not really positive what is best on this killer yet i haven't played him enough he's such a unique killer where we're like he's like relying on stealth and stuff and he's so like different from everybody else so it's really hard for me to know what to run on him yet i'm kind of like playing around with a bunch of stuff I'm, i really have no idea so we're going to be trying out discordance and also Sloppy Butcher because it applies Mangled. I think that's going to be a really big deal because I think healing against Ghostface is really, really, really important. I almost want to combine uh, Sloppy, Sloppy Butcher with Nurse's Calling so that way I can force them into healing and then spot them out healing. That might also be a, re a really good combo, but I'm going to try out Discordance this game and then maybe next game I'll try out Nurse's Calling. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited to try him out. I played him a bit yesterday. He's super fun. So, uh, oh, also my add-ons. I'm doing the one that uh decreases the de the detection range i'm not sure whether this add-on decreases how far away they have to be or whether it shrinks how much of the camera has to be on you i really don't know i think it's distance but i'm really not sure either way i'm running it because why not i just have like very little offering so i might as well and i'm also running the other add-on that makes people become marked faster so let's roll with it let's do it okay thompson house not exactly the best map, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's do it. Let's see how this goes. All right, so hopefully Discordance will help me find someone like right off the bat. Hopefully two people will spawn together and start working on a generator. There's crows flying over here and I saw scratch marks. So we're going to go immediately over yonder. Right over Yoshi's right there. Hey, bud. He doesn't even know. He has no idea. Oh my God. This guy had no idea. <laughs> This dude just straight up was walking around, looking all around him, having no idea. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Am I am I sure I'm at rank four? All right, get on up here, buddy. Even with him on, even with him being there, there were still two people over here this gen. So, hopefully this, uh, hopefully my ability comes back quickly. I don't think it'll even be back fast enough. I, I think I, I think I'm better off just chasing him at this point, honestly. I'll try to sneak on someone later. I think right now I just want to get some hits. All right, do a quick mind game on that. Claudette, get a hit on her. All right, this is a pretty strong tile. Okay. I'm going to see if this mind game works. Hold on a second. Dude, that works so well. Oh, but he had dead hard. Probably going to vault. Yeah. I'm kind of seeing the way this guy plays. He doesn't really, like, react. He seems like he has a plan, and then he kind of just goes with it. That's uh, th that right there is like a perfect example of like if you're playing killer, a good way to like chase someone is by seeing like what they do. Like this dude was already vaulting this window before I was even like, before he even saw what I was doing, he was already vaulting the window. Like the man's mind was made up, you know? So because of that, you can easily double, b what, where? Holy shit. You know what? No, 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 no. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. There's too many people. Hello, Nia. No firecracker for you. I'm gonna let that Claudette go. She's at a pretty strong area of the map and she might have borrowed time or decides to strike. I don't know. Either way, I don't feel like fucking with her. I'm gonna I'm gonna chase after this Nia instead. She's kinda running out here to this open field. I mean she got to a jungle gym, but just barely. She'll, she'll have to throw this pallet, which is fine. That's pretty terrible use of the jungle gym, so that's cool with me. That is A okay with me, buddy. Alright, now is where I might There's someone else here. I was going to say I might dip off and try to stealth, but then there's a Jake right here, so never mind. I'm going to be honest. It's It seems very difficult to, like, stealth mid-match. Like, right now, I just hit that guy, so I could probably do it now. This is where Nurse's Calling, I think, would be really good. I feel like maybe I should be running Nurse's Calling on this killer. 
Because if I can find someone healing right now. This guy's injured. I can hear it. Well, he had a non-injured guy there with him. Damn. I should have stalked. All right, well, he's caught anyway. It doesn't matter. What are you, you going to do? Do you have dead hard? I mean, I don't know. That's pretty legit. Like, with Nurse's Calling right there, I kind of figured it out without Nurse's Calling. But with Nurse's Calling, we would have known for sure they were in there. I don't know. Nurse's Calling might be the way, dude. It might be the wave on this killer. I don't know. All right, come here, Neo. Up you go. Up you go, bud. Up you go. Okay. Come on. Come on, Stealth. Come back. Come back, Stealth. I got one of them stocked. The dude that was already injured, I got stocked. I kind of want to hit him for the blood points, honestly. That's not him. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, well, I, I guess I'm chasing the Claudette now. I don't know where he went. I wanted to hit him for the blood points because you get like extra blood points if you hit somebody that's marked. But I done lost track of him. I lost him. That is actually not worth. That is a very strong area of the map and he's full health. My stealth's going to be up in a minute. That's very, very not worth chasing. I'm instead going to dip back and see if I can find somebody. Works for me, man. This guy still never got healed, but... Hey, man. Points are points. I'll take the blood points, you know? I'll take it. You going to make that? Oh, just barely. That's all right. That's like the strongest pile in the game, and it's down, so that's fine. Is she going to go around the back? She's going to go around the back. I don't think she makes it anywhere. I'm going to be honest. I don't think she gets anywhere. Where, where's, the, where's the nearest pallet? I don't think she makes that. Oh, she does make that, actually. Damn. I'm going to zone her. Okay, never mind. I was going to try to zone her to this side of the map, but she's going to go through this pallet instead. Fine by me, dude. That's even more pallets down. We are running dangerously low on pallets out here. The pallet count is getting dangerously low. Yeah, you're staying here? Wait, why are you... There's a pallet right there. Why are you staying here? I think I can bait her into vaulting this. Yeah. Ugh. They picked up that other guy. That took me a minute. I should have just kicked this pallet. That's all right, though. It was a really strong part of the map. There was a strong pallet and then cow tree, but we got them both down. Unfortunately, this map has a lot of really strong pallets. So, like, even though we got rid of that one, there is still a lot more coming. There is a ton of good pallets on this map. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Back into hiding. Someone was here. They're here. This guy is... So something that's interesting is that if you get like the perfect peak stock, this guy is like so close to stock that I can just run at him stocking and he won't be able to break me out in time. Something that's interesting about peak stocking is that if you have like the right peak angle, it literally doesn't even matter if they're looking right at you. They literally can't break you out of it. It's really, really weird and kind of messed up. And it honestly, probably I can't. I'm not sure how I feel about it, whether like I think it's okay or whether I think it's OP, I don't know. But like, if you're peeking around a corner and all that's sticking out is just your head and but not like your actual body, they can stare right at you and it will not break you out. Like you'll just stay stealth, which is very strong and very good to know. It is a very, very good thing to know. Hi Nia, where are you going? What up? Sick dead hard. Amazing dead hard. The best dead hard. Come here, buddy. Come on up, bud. This guy... I don't think this guy's dead, right? I think the other guy was dead on hook. I got a, I got quite a, I got quite a few people dead on hook right now. Quite a few. That Jake is full health, so I'm going to have to stock anyone. It's going to be him. Okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah, there's no staying stock. There's no staying stealth there. That Jake is just sitting behind a tree back there. If this Claudette stays at this pallet, she's dead. I don't know why she stayed at that pallet. That pallet sucks. The other dude's looting up top, and then this Jake is right here. So we know where everyone is. We literally know where the entire team is. No one's getting that unhook right now, so I could probably end the game right now. Just down this Jake right quick. 
And then the other dude's upstairs. So that's GG, boys. That's GG. That'll be a gg -er. Hey, GG, my dudes. GG. No one went for the save for some reason. I don't know why. This Jake was crouching behind a tree. This Neo was up here dicking around and looting. I don't know what the hell you guys were doing, but hey, GG. GG, boys. This was, uh, I want to get to the end game screen because I want to be very surprised if this is actually like rank four. Just to be perfectly honest, I'm not trying to be a dick, but like these guys were not red rank level survivors. This game was really easy. These guys kind of like this Jake hiding behind the tree. I have no idea what he was doing. You know what? It was mostly just this Jake. Because this Jake was the same guy that in the very beginning kind of just let me stalk him. You know, the whole way to expose and then down him. I don't know what the hell that guy was doing this whole match, to be honest with you. Hi, Claudette. How you doing? Hello, hello. G, G, boys. G, G. And honestly, I'm not really shocked by this uh, endgame scoreboard. Like, this is pretty much what I expected. All these three people played pretty well, so I figured they were probably high ranks. And then this Jake, this guy was the Jake. He was ranked 12. I don't know why he was here. Maybe he was, like, Survive with Frenzing with this guy or something. I don't really know. But this poor dude was, like, ranked 12, and he did not belong here because he had no idea what he was doing. But, hey, what are you going to do? GG's only. Okay, so to go along with my Ghost Phase game, I also want to play against Ghost Phase. I'm going to assume that most people are probably playing him right now. I'm going to queue up and hopefully we get him. Um, I'm not going to run anything special against him. I, I could, like, if I really wanted to be a dick, I could put on uh, Object, of Obs Object of Obsession. Why is it hard to say? Object of Obsession. Words are very hard. I could put on Object if I wanted to be an asshole and just completely, like, negate his whole power. But I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to run what I would normally run, which is this. It's just my head-on shenanigans. I kind of am addicted to head-on. It's like the most fun thing ever. So I'm just going to keep doing my head-on shenanigans. And I will hopefully we play against the Ghost Fates because I actually haven't played against him yet. I streamed last night and played for like, I don't know, like six hours. And I pretty much exclusively played. Well, I did. I exclusively played I, uh, Ghost Fates. I haven't played any Survivor at all. So we're going to try this out and, you know, hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Okay, Temple of Purgation. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see who the killer is. Hopefully it's a ghost face. Hopefully we don't run into like a freaking Bubba or something. I don't know. I just want to play against Ghost Face. I just want to play against Ghosty Boy. We'll see what happens. This map is a pretty strong survivor map. But I mean, if we're going to be perfectly honest with ourselves, I'm pretty sure like 90% of the maps are good survivor maps. Oh, it is a ghost face. He's here apparently. He's right there. I knock you out of stealth, please? Okay, I guess the Kate got you. I think, I think she's about to get killed. I believe she's about to get killed. I believe she done got stalked. That's actually really cool because I didn't hear or see him at all. So that was very stealthy of him. That was super stealthy of him. I had no idea where he was where he even was. I think he was like over there somewhere. I'm not even sure. I kind of heard his like airplane sounds for a second and then I don't know. I want to see how it is breaking him out of stealth. That's what I want to see because I've been hearing that there's been a lot of issues with it lately. And in the PDB, I've had some issues. So I'm really curious to see how it goes. I feel like he might come back for this generator. I guess not. He found the guy that he that he stalked, and then they got the unhook. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay on this gen, I guess. I'm just gonna be on gen duty, boys. Okay, I'm gonna finish this gen and I'm gonna go find ruin. I do not feel like doing these gens through ruin. I do not feel like focusing and hitting great skill checks. And seeing my generator get regress the whole time I'm doing it. It's so depressing. I know that, like, the better strategy is just to hammer through Ruin. But I just, I hate it. I hate Ruin so much. It's so, it's so disheartening to be doing a generator and then see the progress of it, like, go backwards. It's so sad. Alright, first things first. I want to check this tile. I feel like these totems are usually it, but not today. It's right there. Let me knock them out right quick. Okay. I did have to be kind of close to him. Like, I was staring at him from far away, and it wasn't doing anything. I had to get, like, right up against him. Well, not right up against him, but I had to get pretty close to him. It's kind of weird. All right, so now he's just an M1 killer, though. Like, not, like, not, not that he's knocked out of stealth, and he's chasing me. He's literally just an M1 killer. Like, there's nothing to be afraid of. He's just a normal dork killer. Oh, my God. S swing at this. Sw swing, 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 swing. <laughs> nice swing, dumbass. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, I'm out of here. 
Um, all right, we got some good pallets here. We're good. We're doing. We're doing all right. Everything's fine. Is he leaving to go stalk someone? Not on my watch, buddy. Maybe you're going to check on your ruin totem. I don't know. Is your ruin totem down here and you're checking on it, maybe? Maybe? Is that what's going on, maybe? No. Well, all right. Damn. I want to find this totem, man. This is really smart of him, though. I want to be honest. That was really smart of him to, like, not chase me and go chase someone else. Because I think that's the cool, the whole idea behind Ghostface is that, like, without your power, you're just kind of an M1 killer, right? So, like, if you're getting, like, hard looped in, like, a strong area against a good survivor, I think, like, that's what you should be doing is just leaving. Like, look, he left and stalked whoever that was and downed her. I think that's the play right there. That's the play. Don't chase someone that's a tough chase with Ghostface because you're not supposed to be, like, a chase killer. You're supposed to be the sneaky, sneaky, beaky, stealthy stock killer, you know? He's doing a pretty good job of it. I still want to find Ruin. I don't know if he... I hope he's not camping. I heard... I've heard... Word on the grapevine is, is that there are some Ghostface players that like to just crouch near the hooks in stock so that when you unhook, you get exposed. Hopefully, that's not a thing. I feel like if it was a thing, it'd be pretty easy to counterplay by just, like, looking around the hook before you unhook like I just did. But still, sounds very obnoxious, and I would rather not play against it if I don't have to. All right, team. You guys are struggling right now. You guys are definitely out here having a struggle. That's for sure. Would you like to please stop dying? Let's see if he picks this guy up. Damn, he faced the wall. He's too smart. Claudette, he's facing the wall. Don't even try. Don't even bother, Claudette. All right, let's go, let's go see if the totem's at Shaq. We are being a terrible, terrible, terrible teammate, by the way. Just going to throw this out there. This is not efficient gameplay. Just gonna throw it out there that I'm well aware that if I was doing like a gameplay review right now and this is what I was watching, I would be like, dude, get on a freaking Jenny. What are you doing? But I also just don't want to. I just don't wanna, you know? Sometimes you just don't wanna. I wanna go find this totem. Dude, I don't know how I haven't found it yet. I feel like I've been everywhere, right? This, I guess this map might be bigger than I thought. Fuck. He was under a pallet, but I couldn't quite get there. Yeah, I might have to give up. I don't know where this thing is. Oh, they got it. Nice. Wait, it was downstairs? Was that downstairs? I think that was down. Jesus. I was trying to look and see where the... Nice. Thank God he swung there. I was trying to see where the totem was, and I ended up like running right into him. <laughs> I stopped paying attention for a second, and I just got... Okay, I need to get out of here. I'm kind of like looping him right where the guy's hooked, which means I'm kind of getting him camped. Hopefully I can make this. Yeah, I got this. So that way you can get unhooked. And he's going to go back. All right. Well, then see you, bud. I can finally do Jennies now. Now that Hex Ruin's gone, I can finally do generators. This is actually really scary being injured against Ghostface. I am kind of regretting not having self-care for the first time in a very long time. Because he can sneak up on me like at any time right now. Like he, Like if he drops his terror radius and then just like sneaks up. He's like a he's like a tier one Myers that moves at 4.6 meters per second, which is terrifying. Like if he sneaks up on me, I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere. Do I have an escape route? No. There's nothing anywhere near me. I might have to go find an, a safer gen to work on. I know I mean there's a pallet right there, but that if he comes from that way, then I'm done. <laughs> hey buddy, you also look scared, so maybe I'll come heal you and then we can both stop being scared. You're kinda just oh no, he's right there. I, like, look, I can't break him out right there? That's crazy. Yo, that, that seems a little weird. Like, how am I not able to break him out right there? He's, like, walking around in front of me. Hmm. This is interesting. I've been playing nothing but Ghostface, and I haven't really played against... I haven't played against him yet, so I haven't really seen... This makes a lot of sense. When I was playing Ghostface, there was a lot of times where I would just kind of, like, stalk people from kind of far away, and they wouldn't... They would just be, like... They would be looking right at me, but nothing would happen. And now I'm starting to get it. I understand. Because I was just looking right at that dude. That seems a little busted to me, honestly. Just personal opinion, IMO, that seems a little busted. I feel like if you if you, if the killer, uh, if the survivor sees you and they put you on the center of their camera, it shouldn't matter if you're close or far. You should just be, you know, you should be busted out. IMO. All 
All right, well, we're going to do this gen together. He's going to hook that guy. Uh, is he coming over here? He's going to try to peek right there. Like how? Yo, that took so long to break him out. Did I even break him out or was it the Nia? Dude, breaking him out of stealth just seems so like finicky. Like it does not feel reliable at all. Okay, he's just gonna go back to the hook even though I'm nowhere near it. Okay, see, so yeah, I guess I'll just go finish this gen then. That feels, dude, I'm gonna be honest, that feels really bad. That, 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 needs, that needs touched up, that needs worked on. That feels awful. If he's going to take the time to kick the gen, I'm going to go to a better position. He's going to go back to the hook. I'm just going to finish this gen. I don't know what he's doing. I was going to go to the window because it was closest, but once it, once he made it clear he was going to kick the gen, I decided to go to like a better spot. But then it didn't matter because he's going back to the hook regardless, so who cares? I don't know why he kicked that gen. That was a weird decision to kick that gen when he knew I was nearby. So I don't know what the hell his deal was. But I'm going to go help this guy out. You want like healed? It is ghost face after all. He's stealth right now. I was spotting him for a second. Like this. What? There we go. Okay, never mind. I got him. See, that's weird though. I got him right there from this far away, but I wasn't getting him before. This feels really weird. This is very odd. The, the like being able to reveal ghost face things seems really like. I don't know. It feels inconsistent. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, how was I able to, like, from here to where he is now, seems like the same distance as he was before where I wasn't able to break him out. Is my camera just not, like, perfectly panned on him? Because if so, then I'm really glad that that patch is coming. That's insane. All right, that guy, I think, is dead on hook. So, it's just going to be up to me and old Blendette here. So, later, Dwightiest Dwight, you liar. Is there a gen at Shack? Well, there's one near Shack. Wait, really? Is that looking at him? I don't even remember. Oh, she's right there. Like, how is that not? How is that not kicking him out? How old, dude? It's ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Um, how am I supposed to play that? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Hello? Question marks? I'm so I I'm so dumbfounded right now. I don't even know what to say. I am I am at a loss. How am I supposed to play around that? Like I have my camera on him. I'm like third person around a corner and looking right at him. And he's just slowly stalking me over and over and over again, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to Kobe. We're probably dead. I don't think we're both gonna get out of this alive. Honestly, I might just I might just Kobe off this hook like an absolute badass is what I might do. That was a weird hit. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Good flashlight save, Claudette. Woo! You did it. Good job, Claudette. You're the best. Sick flashlight save, Claudia. You're the absolute best. All right. If you're going to chase Claudette, I'm going to go do a gen. Claudette, just survive for 80 seconds while I do a generator, okay? It's, it's that easy. Just don't get caught for 80 whole seconds. Man, she's right at hatch, too. So, like, if she does get caught, that's kind of where I want to be. Man, I'm going to do this gen nearby. Oh, there's two two of the gens are very close. Yikes, dude. Um, That's not great. Okay, he's chasing her anyway. That was a really, that was really good skill check timing. Right as I got off the gen. Very, very, very good timing. Not breaking them out. That was breaking him out a little bit. Honestly, I'm way too focused on breaking him out and not like playing the actual match. Like now I'm like not even looking at where I'm going. I'm just trying to fucking break him out of chase and I'm just getting myself killed because I'm like, oh, I got to make sure I put my camera directly on this guy. Otherwise it won't work. All right, I'm just going to let myself die so she can hopefully get hatch. Honestly, he'll probably close it. But I think it's her only hope. Like if I if I struggle, it's just gonna get us all killed. I, I need to I need to die so she maybe has a chance to get hatch. This was uh Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. This is awful. Why why are people why are people complaining about the patch that's coming? 
the quote-unquote big nerfs that are coming in the hotfix. That seems like a very necessary patch. That was miserable right there. Like, you're like, you literally stare right at him and nothing happens. Oh, he closed hatch. Oh yeah, that's it. It's curtains. It's curtains for old Claudette. She's done though. So. I'm not even gonna stay to watch this. She She's dead. There's no way she's getting out of here. She's getting chased and hatch is closed. She doesn't have a key, so she's dead. Um, yeah, that was, that sucked. That sucked, GG. So yeah, that was it. That was it for the Ghostface gameplay. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a, I had a good time playing as him, playing against him, not so much. That was very finicky. Keep in mind that was my first game though. That was my absolute first impression of it. It might be easier than I'm making it out to be. That was my first time ever really playing around with it. So, you know, maybe if I play it more, I'll get the hang of it. You guys will probably be screaming at me in the comments about like stuff that I was doing wrong or whatever, but you know what? Whatever, man. All right, whatever. The point is, is that it feels like it should be easier to break him out than it is. And it's just not. Like, I feel like so many times I'm just staring right at him and he just doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to not break out of stealth and stalk you anyway. You know? Fucking odd, dude. Very odd. Um. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I'll definitely try to be uploading more of these because I really enjoy doing them. And apparently you guys are enjoying watching them, which is awesome. So thank you guys. Feel free to throw me some feedback or, uh, you know, if you guys want to see something, then feel free to let me know. I'm down to uh, try new things. And uh, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like the video because apparently that helps me with the algorithm or something. I don't know really much about YouTube. And also sub to the channel if you guys like it as well because I'll be putting out more content. I've been uploading about three or four times a week. I'll try to keep that up, but we'll see. And I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. I will talk to you later. See you later. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya.